Tech Cocktail delivering happiness here at South by Southwest. Really excited to be joined by somebody from Techstars from Boulder. We're here with Nicole Glaros. Actually, did I say it right? Okay. Well, if you're Greek, you say Glaros. But Which I can't roll. I, I can't roll ours. <laughs> so I'm glad you did that for me. Glaros works. Pre- appreciate it. And you're like the managing director in Boulder. Is that correct? I am. Can you share with us a little bit about what you do at Techstars every day? Wow, it depends on the day for sure. One of the or, great or just things. in general, just in general. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, well. Right now, actually, we're going through the application process for Techstars, so yeah. we're going to see somewhere between 700 and 800 applicants mm-hmm. for the 10 spots that are in Boulder. Okay, so Techstars, brief elevator pitch, what does it do? Uh, we are a, a seed accelerator. We mm-hmm. are a mentorship-driven seed accelerator. Mm-hmm. So what that means is, is that we surround companies with mentors, mm-hmm. guidance, some resources, including a little bit of capital, mm-hmm. really helping them get to the next stage of business success. And how many do you put out in Boulder every year? 10. And, and you have other places too, right? Yeah, we have four locations in the U.S. We've got Boulder, Boston, New York, and Seattle. Okay. And each location does uh, ten, wow. except for New York, who does twenty now because they have they run two programs in New York. Wow. So we do about fifty companies a year. Super. What inspires you to do what you do every day? Entrepreneurs, no doubt about it. Working with entrepreneurs is okay. You have to have a defective gene to be an entrepreneur. There's got to be something wrong in your head like that you think that you're the only person on the planet that can solve a problem but that's what's beautiful about an entrepreneur is that they think that they can solve something that the whole a problem that the whole world is experiencing they're motivated they're driven they're smart they're hungry they're just a lot of fun to work with entrepreneurs will risk everything and put everything on the table to make that happen on the innovation side stuff that gets me really excited at the moment is either infrastructure type stuff I want to see I like to see products and companies that are helping the web do what it does better so glue if you will Um, And the other stuff is things that make my life easier. So one of the applications that I would love to see that, I I mean, I still think there's a a huge space in the um, calendar, email, address book, making all that work together better. And I think we all struggle with how we sync our contacts and like all the calendaring, all that fun stuff. So those are two areas that I'm really excited about right now. The trend that I like the most that's going on right now is, is definitely the lean startup movement. Um, and I know that there's a lot of activity here around at South by around that. Uh, that's how my second and third companies failed is because I didn't understand the product. Uh, I sorry, I didn't understand the market and how my product fit in there. If I would have done those, if I would have done those exercises early, I could have potentially had a much different outcome. So I think that entrepreneurs at this stage, if they can pay attention to the lean startup uh, methodologies, they're going to have just the opportunity for success is going to skyrocket. This is probably the standard answer, right? My my iPhone or your smartphone, but it also brings me the same amount of frustration. So, so I'm I, I'm equally in love with it as I am in hate with it. First of all, scratch your own itch. Have passion about the product that you want to build. Second thing is now that you've got a passion, make sure that there's actually a market for it. Uh, make sure you do your research there. You'll save yourself a lot of pain and and um, agony later. Um, let's see what else would I tell an entrepreneur? Have intellectual honesty probably be really really honest with yourself about what you're good at what you're not good at Um, it's really hard to hear that your baby is ugly so getting the right data around yourself and your product is key that's intellectual honesty and entrepreneurs know how to execute so do more faster